Okay, hi everybody. Um, as you probably saw a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video when you saw my own car had quite a bad crash, and I mentioned the engine had been um, a bit damaged. So if I just get the part here, this is the broken part. As you can see, that's an engine mount, and there's a lot of it missing. That's how bad the crash was. I've actually dismantled the whole engine here. Here's the crankcase. That's all the engine is now. Nothing in there. Everything else in the engine appeared to be okay, except the heat, heat sink, which was a bit badly scratched. But I'm just going to need to order a new one of these, which um, is going to take a while, or maybe not a while, but delivery companies aren't particularly good around here. So I thought I'd just give you a quick o use this as an opportunity to give you a quick overview of what the parts are. So first of all, probably the most important part of the engine, this is the piston. Basically it goes up and down inside the crankshaft. Here's the con rod with the big end that attaches to this, which is the crankshaft, which spins round on the bottom of the crankcase there. And also to go in here is this, which is the cylinder liner, which would go on the top of the engine there to stop the piston scraping on the sides of the engine. What else we got here? We've also thought this might be damaged, but it turns out it wasn't. This is the um, crank bearing, which goes sort of round there-ish in the engine to um, let the crankshaft run smoothly. So that's basically it. They're the main parts. Also, I took the carburetor off. That's what that looks like. Air goes in there. You'll see the high-speed needle low speed needle and the throttle in and outlet that open and closes here's pieces of the clutch see the clutch will go on the front of the engine here see it's got three pins and these are the clutch shoes as the engine's spinning around really fast these will spring out and hit the outside of the clutch bell but I don't know, here it is here's the clutch bell so they go inside there and spring out and hit the edge and then that starts pulling the rest of the gears around which connects to here the main spur gear and that's basically it that's a, just a quick overview of the engine obviously some other parts air filter exhaust pipe and that would be mounted here just to put just put this back where it should go you can see now just how much damage it's taken everything here and here has just been completely wrenched out and the screws that hold the engine in have been wrenched out as well so I'm going to order some new screws and a new engine mount look unfortunately I've had a bit of a delay because um, I've just had to go to a funeral which has um, slowed things down a bit because the family is all in a bit of a state of shock and it's all running quite slowly but um, hopefully that hasn't delayed buying the plane too much. Hopefully, we should be able to get back on track soon. The plane will probably be the most take the most time of maybe a month, maybe about that. That's the maximum time it should take because I can order the parts for the car and the plane at the same time. Okay, so I'll hopefully either have another car video up or maybe the plane video up in within a month. Okay, see you later, already. Bye.